Hello friends, hola amigos. Welcome to Feel Free Fridays with Miss Judy. I'm going to be uh, completing an art activity with you today. Um, we're gonna use uh, several materials that uh, hopefully you have in your house. Um, we're gonna be making a spring flower. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the flower is gonna look like when we finish completing it, okay? The materials you're gonna need for this art activity are a piece of paper, and we're gonna fold the paper in half, okay? You're gonna need yarn, any color is fine. We're gonna need paint. Um, we're also gonna need a little stick, okay? Um, scissors, napkins, and an old book. So you may want to ask mommies and daddies to give you an old book um, because we might get a little bit of paint in it. So we want to make sure that we're asking uh, mommies and daddies permission before we get a book to use, okay? So the, what we're going to do first is we're going to actually take our yarn and we're gonna cut two strands. The strands have to be about 18 inches long. So you may wanna ask mommies or daddies to help you with that, okay? We're gonna need two strings, okay? Um, and then once you cut the two strings, I'm gonna turn this down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, okay, so you want to open your book, okay, you're going to place your piece of paper that you folded in half inside the book like this, okay. Now, we're going to open our paints. So for this paint, I'm going to use red paint and yellow paint. You can use whichever colors you like, um, but Miss Judy's gonna be using red and yellow, okay? First step is we're going to take our strands, our strands of yarn, and we're gonna dip it in the paint, okay? So here's where we're going to use our little stick because we're going to dip the string into the paint I'm gonna make sure that it gets really nice and wet with the paint, okay? Now, we're not gonna stick the whole strand of paint, of uh, yarn in there. We're gonna leave a little bit out. So as you can see, a couple of inches not dip into the paint, okay? Once the yarn is inside the paint, you are going to squeeze out as much of the paint as possible. So you're gonna pull it up, but you wanna squeeze a lot of the paint off of the strand of yarn. So you guys can see is moving right back into the little container, all that excess paint. Okay, now here's where the napkin comes in to play because you're gonna wipe your fingers with the napkin, okay? Now, you're going to lay your strand of paint on the paper. You want to do almost like a bit of a circle, okay? And then you're gonna twirl a little bit of the strand, a little circle in the middle, and then you're gonna go straight down. As you guys notice, there's some strand that's hanging off from the book, okay? You wanna make sure that strand of yarn is 
outside of the book. So that's how you're going to pull it down to make the flower. Okay. Once your flower is in position, you are going to close the sheet of paper. And remember what I said, please make sure you're asking mommies and daddies to make sure there's an old book available because you might get some paint on the book. Okay. So you're going to close the book. Okay. Here's my strand of paint of yarn and we're just going to pull it straight down. So you're going to hold the book in place and you're going to pull the yarn. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and open the book. Open our page and there goes the flower petals. Okay. Now you guys can leave it like that if you like, but Miss Judy wanted to add a little bit of yellow in the middle of the flower also. So we're going to take our second strand of yarn. Now we're going to dip it into the yellow. Make sure that the yarn has enough paint on it. We're going to use our little stick here to dip it in. Now this one, you don't have to really uh, dip too much in just because we're going to only do just one sh short line of yellow in the flower. Okay, but it's the same step. We're going to make sure that the yarn is inside of the paint. Okay. We're going to now make sure that we are squeezing out the excess of paint for the yellow also. So we don't need too much paint. Okay. Wipe your fingers off with the napkin. Okay. Now with this yellow paint, we're just going to place it right in the middle. Just as you see. Okay. We're going to close the sheet again. We're going to close the book, hold it in place. We're going to take that strand and we're going to pull it again. Okay. We're going to open the book, find our page, open it up. And there goes our beautiful spring flower. Again, you guys can use whichever colors you'd like. You can combine colors. You can mix colors to make a new color. It's totally up to you. Take a closer look. Okay. And then you just let it dry. And then you're all done. Okay, friends. I hope you enjoyed that art activity in Miss Shooty. Um, I hope you're safe and take care of yourself. Be safe. Bye-bye. Adios.